training session on using the power of influence and persuasion on customer service. This training video is on using the power of authority um, in customer service. Now, as a customer service agent or team member or team leader, it can be very challenging to appear authoritative yourself and use the power of authority to convince people to buy your product or to be happy with the product that they bought. Um, the truth is, at some companies, customer service professionals are not very empowered and most don't have the education um, or the level of expertise to be truly authoritative within their whole industry or they probably work in business management or something else besides customer service. So in most cases, what you need to do to leverage authority and customer service is look at the expert bios of the leaders in your team. Maybe they have 40 years of experience and 20 patents, or you know, maybe they have world-recognized speech and engagements and have written 10 books. You need to figure out exactly who the most authoritative people are within your company and then figure out why they became that authoritative. So you can point to those tangible aspects and you're speaking with potential customers. So you can say, you know, we have this coaching process that we've put together and here's why it works so well. You know, our um, leader, the CEO of our firm, actually went through all these same challenges you're facing in his own business. He overcame them. Then he spoke around the world about those challenges and the solutions he came up with and now he's written 10 best-selling books. And pointing to those actual book names in the places he's spoken at, the different countries he's spoken in, those can all be things that position him as an absolute authority and bring a lot of trust to your business. The second way is to make sure that if your company has white papers, articles have written, um, free educational materials, that you have access to those and you're able to send those to potential customers. Because that is a way to instantly position your firm with an authority status. To write a white paper or to write a book, if you could send a free book to somebody, it takes a lot of work and it shows you a real business that has genuine advice and insights and it provides value to that other party first. And it can be a great way to enact the power of authority. Now the whole reason why we want to enact authority in customer service is that if a client has a potential of working with two different companies, and one seems to be an industry leader in uh, thought leadership and developing new solutions and really connecting with challenges and developing very direct processes to solve them. And the other group seems to be very popular and they have good products and it's kind of what people choose all the time but you're not sure why. You're more likely to go with the one that seems very authoritative one. They're the expert. They are the number one authority in the industry. You're more likely to do business with them and scientific testing shows that that is true. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. Just remember to enact authority, focus on the expert bios and the really tangible pieces of why your CEO or principals are really authorities within the industry and leverage that. And then also look for white papers and articles that you can point to, maybe a free book that you can send to potential clients and it's gonna position you and your team as very, very authoritative. Thank you for joining us for this video session. We'll see you again soon.